Good morning, everybody. Dave Schmidt along with Matt Nestor and producer Tom Warner. We're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to go to the other football. It's called <laughs> soccer here in the America. And probably the best team in the state line is not in Illinois. It's up in Wisconsin. And I've been following these guys this year. Beloit Memorials had a great week this week. And with us is their head coach, Brian Denew. And Coach, what a great week for you guys. you got to be pretty happy with the way your kids performed this week. Oh, absolutely. You know, it was, uh, it was a busy week. We had three games and kind of big, big, important games for each of the kids. We played two local rivals in Hananiga and Parker last night. And um, then Madison Memorial is typically the team we beat in our conference. So having, having a busy week like that with three, you know, three kind of important matches is certainly, uh, certainly fun for the kids and fun as a coaching staff. And our kids performed extremely well this week, and, and we've, we're, we're kind of hitting our stride. So um, we're, we're very, very pleased in the direction things went this week. How tough is it to get up for for three big games like that? I think if you played any of those, any one of those teams in a week, that that'd be a big week. You know, when you get all of them like that together, how tough is that to prepare for? Uh, you know, it's 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 pretty tough. We were fortunate that all of them happened to be at home this week, so that was that made it a little bit easier on us. You know, um, we have a, a good supportive crowd, uh, which always gets our kids jacked up a little bit more than normal. Um, but certainly, you know, preparation is, is key, especially yeah, yesterday, you know, bouncing back from the Madison Memorial game. Um, it was a little bit, we, we started a little bit slower than we would have liked last night, but it ended up going pretty well. Um, but yeah, you know, I think the kids are, they've uh, got accustomed the last few years to playing uh, big games. Um, so it's nice to, nice to see them every game step up and, and be ready to go. You know, I you, I was at the Hananiga game. You score seven goals in that game. Last night, you score ten against uh, Janesville Parker. Everybody talks about all those goals you score, but you got to have a pretty good defense to put some shutups out on the board. And you know, Hananiga's not that bad a soccer team either. No, you know, and our defense is, is steadily improved throughout the course of the year. We um, we that was kind of a, one of our biggest concerns coming into the year is just you know just getting the guys back there that that could mesh. Um, after we played Sun Prairie and didn't, didn't play very well against them, we, we tweaked a few things, and I think since then, in the last nine games, we've only given up uh, four, three, four goals. Um, and the kids have played really well, kind of responded to their new positions. Um, we're fortunate to have a, a good backup goalkeeper now because our, our, our starting goalkeeper tweaked his back on uh, Thursday early in the game. So we brought our backup in 15 minutes in, and um, he made a huge, couple huge saves down the stretch against Memorial to, when it was 1-1 to keep things keep things tied and then you know we, we were able to overcome that at the end so yeah you know depth is, is really good and, and our defense and, and goalkeeper are really gelling right now which is really good because we know we have the offensive firepower to, to kind of hang with anybody so if we can really get, get uh, buckle down and, and stop people from scoring against us uh, i think we're, we're going to be really really tough to beat down the stretch you know, how big of a win was that for you guys against Memorial? You talk about them being the conference favorite typically. Uh, you know, to, to, to win a game like that, especially when you when you have to put the backup goal in there, and just how, how big was that for your confidence going forward? It was absolutely huge. You know, uh, Memorial is just tradition rich. They are they are kind of the, the marquee program in our conference since I've been around in, in that was, you know, 12, 13 years ago when I started as an assistant. And now um, the last seven is the head coach. They've been the team to beat. Um, they hadn't lost a regular season conference game since 2012. Wow. So that kind of tells you how dominant they've been. In, in our conference is one of the top two or three in the state. So to be dominant in, in a conference as good as ours says a lot. Um, you know, last year we tied them during the regular season, um, and then we beat them in uh, the sectional semifinal. So we knew that they'd kind of come out a little bit jacked up, and they did. They scored 19 seconds into the game. But wow. it was good to see our kids respond uh, you know, because sometimes you can hang your head and, and kind of let that bother you, but our kids really picked it up from that point on and, and, and went on to, to hold them scoreless the rest of the game, which was, which was awesome. We're talking to Beloit Memorial head soccer coach Brian Deneu, and uh, they've been on a roll. How, how neat has it been that you guys went to, uh, you know, state last year in soccer? How much has that helped you this year as you prepared for the season? Your kids have a lot of confidence when I watched them play uh, the other night against Tonaniga. Yeah, you know, they... <laughs> Our, we we do our kids do play with an uh, extreme amount of confidence, and the nice thing is we you know this year brought us we we steadily increased our numbers every single year. Um, I think last year we had 65 kids come out uh, on tryouts, but this year it was 87 kids. So it's really nice to to have that big pool of kids to pick from, and a lot of really talented players. And um, you know the the confidence in the fact that they could play with teams at the end of last season was, was enormous for us going into the season this year. The kids still, you know, they, they talk about unfinished business with an opportunity that 
we felt like we, you know, we could have advanced to the, the championship game last year and done, uh, you know, seen, seen how it goes there against Marquette. But, um, you know, so the kids, even though they're confident, they're still playing with a little edge, a little chip on their shoulder. They, they, they want to prove, you know, this has been kind of that, that proving ground that, you know, last year wasn't a fluke that this year, um, you know, this is kind of where we plan on being for a long time. And I think with the young kids we have in our program and, you know, the, the returning kids we'll have back next year, that, that hopefully things will continue to flow like this. And a lot of that does come with confidence in the, in the fact that they, they played with these teams last year and they, you know, tied or beat them. And, and this year it's been more of the same. So, um, you know, they, they, they like the fact that they're kind of staking their claim to one of the better teams in the state and the area. So, um, but that confidence has been really, really huge this season. You know, it takes a lot of talent to score goals, but you have to have good crisp passes to really set things up. Who are some of the kids that are that are really helping make your offense go this year? Well, um, Jose Barone is our, he's a senior midfielder. He started for me since the, the day he arrived at school. Um, he has 99 career goals, so hopefully he gets that 100th next week. Um, but this year he leads the state in assists. He's up to, I can, I'm not, after last night, I think he has 21 assists now. Um, He's just an, an enormously great passer. He's, he's just an all-around really, really good player. Um, but, you know, teams kind of bring that pressure to him, knowing that he's been kind of one of the guys for us for four years now, um, and he's really good at finding the open guys. Um, Alberto Martinez is a uh, junior that plays on the left side for us typically, and he, he's made some great passes. Um, you know, that's kind of what we stress is we want to possess the ball sometimes. When we get out of rhythm, we play the ball in the air, which isn't really our forte because we're not a huge team, but we're fast and we're, you know, very skilled with the ball. So if we keep the ball on the ground and find the open spaces, that it's a good thing. But Alberto and, and Jose Baron, um, Jesus Ramos uh, is a sophomore who stepped up. Ivan Santiago Cruz is a sophomore that, that both of those guys um, stepped in the starting lineup this year and have excelled in passing. They haven't scored as many goals, but, you know, they're finding their teammates. So... Um, yeah, we have a lot of really, really great passers, and, and that's something that, you know, we our practices are pretty basic. You know, we, we do a lot of possession drills and, and some shooting things, but we don't try to, you know, do too, too many things that are going to, you know, um, be outside the box because our kids kind of play outside the box when it's just they're in their groove. Um, but we, we work, at, work on those fundamentals, and they, their passing has been great this season. You know, I had fun watching uh, Della Torre play the other night. He's a, you know, he's a pretty good sized kid, and I think everybody likes him. Don't they call him? Hey, everybody calls him Junior, right? Is that what they call? Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. His nickname is Junior. And now the the boys have been starting to call him Junebug off of that. So um, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's he's quite the he. You know, he's the kid this year that we knew uh, he when he was a freshman. We double rostered him, so he played mostly with the JV team. But uh, you know, we would bring him up and he'd sit sit on the bench for varsity games, and sometimes he'd play. Sometimes he wouldn't. Um, but, you know, last year he stepped up into a starting role. He scored in the state tournament in high school. Um, and then uh, this year he has just been amazing. You know, he, is, he, he like you said, he's very tall. And um, he's got those lang- long legs, and he, he just gets him in there. And the kids, I think sometimes they struggle with, you know, how long, and how long he is. And he's physical and fast, and he works extremely hard. He is... He's currently he had a hat trick last night, so he I think he's up to 18 goals on the season. Um, he is uh, he's been you know we we expected him to make a, a step in the off season, but geez, Luis, he's he's really really <laughs> stepped up, and um, I think he's one of the better players in, in our conference now, and, and it's you know it's great to see that, and it's more fortunate that we get him for at least for another year. So well, we're happy about his progression for sure. And he had a hat trick against uh, Hananiga, too, and I asked him, and he said, yeah, that's my first hat trick of the year. I think I made him a video star, too, on the story. So he kind of likes uh, that uh, being the big player in the ball game, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. No, he's a big, you know, a lot of our kids are, are kind of like big game players. You know, they like the, they like the, the big lights. So, well, you know, that's something in years past our schedule hasn't been as tough as it has been this year, but... Um, you know, you see these kids, they, they thrive on playing against good teams and, and kind of having the spotlight on them. Um, but they're, they're pretty selfless, too. You know, it doesn't really matter which one of them is doing it. They, they all feel like they're a big part of it. And, um, you know, with uh, Junior, uh, you know, he was I, – I, we watched that – my my classroom, we watched that video, and they I teach eighth grade, and the, the kids got a kick out of it because a lot of them – his younger brothers go to the school I, I teach at, and – um, you know they got a kick out of seeing him on there. So he, he these kids are they're, they're pretty selfless. They're uh, just a fun loving group of kids, and um, it's a pleasure to coach them. Before I let you go, one thing I know about your team is your kids are dedicated soccer players. They're not kids that 
didn't make it in other sports. They're soccer players. Does that give you a, a kind of a, 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 a good start as you uh, coach that team there? Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, there isn't a whole lot of, uh, you know, they, they come to us with a, a really good skill base, and they come with us with a really good knowledge of the game. Um, our biggest thing is, as a coaching staff is, you know, make, finding the, the partnerships that work on the field, um, you know, keeping them grounded at times because, you know, they, they do, they are an excitable bunch. Um, you know, just kind of reeling that back in sometimes. Um, but they're, they're just, uh, you know, they, they, it is, it's definitely a benefit. They, you know, they love playing the game. They love, um, representing their school. You know, one of the things with, with soccer and some club sports is kids typically, you know, they, 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 they sometimes care more about the club season as opposed to the high school season. But our kids, you know, their parents in the stands, uh, we have a, a, a really nice student section and, um, they they love representing the school and representing their families and our community. So it's been a, you know it's these last two years kind of have set that in motion and, and it's been uh, it's it's really cool to see the kids kind of you know because right now at, at the high school they're kind of the we're the team that has had the most success and, and they kind of enjoy that right now. So hopefully I know some of the other teams are are, are picking it up and they're going to join us soon. But right now that they don't mind carrying that mantle and, and representing our school in a positive manner. Hey, Coach, thanks so much for taking time out and uh, for letting me come over and watch some soccer on Monday night. And we'll keep an eye on the Purple Knights. You guys are on a roll. All right, thanks so much. We appreciate you guys having us on and being there last week. We've been talking to Brian Denou, the head uh, soccer coach at uh, Beloit Memorial. Jeez Louise, I haven't heard that in a long time. I, uh, that was a good one. <laughs> I also like talking about the last game and where they they scored 10 goals. They said, well, we started off slow. Yeah. Then, <laughs> oh, it's it, a soccer. Oh, I would have hate to see what happened if they would have started off fast. Man. Uh, the junior, who they call Della Torre, he's like about maybe 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, you know, yeah. guys, that's all, man. He yeah. was, he's had two uh, hat tricks in, in the th- out of three years. That's not not bad. First one was when you were there. Now he just does it. It's just all he's going to do now is do hat tricks. Yeah, his video did pretty good too. He there could, you go. He's a good looking kid. Hey, there you go. I did learn a lot of Spanish on the sidelines. <laughs> a lot of Hispanic kids, and they do have a. Good